If you need to work across multiple time zones, then you might want to check out this Outlook feature. So I'm in Outlook and I'm on the calendar and this is the Outlook online version. And I prefer the online version because of this one feature. If I hover over the corner, just up the top here, you can see that I've got three time series. Now, some are displaying in 24 hour time and you can change that. But at the moment you can see this is early morning, just so you don't see all the stuff on my calendar. But we can see there is Auckland, Delhi and home. Now, if I want to display or remove, I can go and deselect these other time zones so then they're not visible and then I've only got my own local time scale on the side but if I want to bring them back I can just select them and then they will line up so if you're trying to book multiple people in different time zones uh, and trying to get them all to meet at the same time now you can actually tell them the time that is relevant to them so if I'm going to book someone here at 2 a.m. I can see that at the same time that is going to be 5 a.m in Auckland or it is going to be 9.30 at night the day before. Okay, so in order to add new time zones, I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to go to edit time zones and then from here I can go and type in a whole new time zone. So if I go add time zone and let's say this one is going to be Chile. Okay, and then we can see that one. Okay, and then I can type in Chile. Okay, and then I can save that one. So now when I go back to my calendar, there is Chile. And if I want, I can then just reorder or remove the irrelevant calendars. And then I'm back to the ones that are going to help me align my times to the person that I'm actually dealing with. If you found this video useful, make sure you give us a subscribe, a like, and leave us a comment and let us know what else you'd like to learn. You can also change the time scale. So at the moment, I've got it in 15 minute increments and you can see that by the dotted lines and between the two and the three, so between two and 3 a.m., there are four blocks of time. So if I click on here and I go to time scale, I can kind of choose whichever one I want. So I've got 30, 15, 10, 6, 5, etc. So if you're going to go to a five minute detail, I don't think this is really efficient because you don't really book things in five minute increments generally, unless you had to do a lot of phone calls that were very short. And then maybe you would like if you if you miss a call, then you'd completely throw your day out so it's probably not really viable to do that I like 15 minutes because sometimes yeah I'll have a 45 minute meeting or I'll have a 15 minute call or something like that just put it into a manageable block that is something that you can effectively use and you've got a little bit of wiggle room should something go wrong make sure you check the next video that's going to come up on the screen right now